This is a clock by John Fromentiel, and like many clocks, it has a rich history, but this one is different because some of its history has been recorded. It first appears in a photograph in this book, Old Clocks and Watches by Britain, and this is the first edition published in 1899, so 120-odd years ago. And in the book, it refers to Evelyn's diary, Samuel Pepys was the most famous of the diarists in the 17th century, but Evelyn was also a great diarist. And in his diary, he says, I went with some of my relations to court to show them his majesty's cabinet and closet of rarities. And amongst the clocks, one that showed the rising and setting of the sun in the zodiac, the sun represented by a face and rays of gold upon an azure sky observing the diannual and annual motion rising and setting behind a landscape of hills, the work of our famous Fromentiel. And this clock was then chosen by the Victorians to be altered to have as many features as possible as were described in Evelyn's diary. Instead of just having the night clock time, this has been changed into the signs of the zodiac. And the disc itself has been turned round and there you can just see the vestigial remain on the back of the paintings of the sign of the zodiac. So that it then had a hands put on the front and you can see the, in the picture, the field here is light and you can also see that light area in the photograph. When I first saw the clock, it had been turned back into a night clock as it started out. And the various pieces that had been missing had been replaced. And here it is in its restored glory with the beautiful painting of the survey party and the moving dial here with candles inside to light it up to show the time at night. <laughs>